Good afternoon, ladies and gentlemen. Welcome, welcome to another exciting and everything and amazing propaganda cast from your host, Imperial Dane, the one and only master propaganda here of Psych Defender of the Fatherland. Off here to a 1v1 own Villa Fiore in the southeast. We have the most gentle of foxes, Gentle Fox, fighting here for the German army, Deutschland. He is setting out with the 90th Panzer Grenadier to be shown here with Coastal Defense, Mechanized Battle Group, and Luftwaffe versus Northwest. It is Charlotte fighting for America, Freedom, Democracy. He is setting out with the 2nd Armored Division, B Company. With, of course, Armored Rider with Veteran Crews and Fast Deploy, and is going for a double deep start. So, of course, this is where General Fison going for a triple pioneer opening is actually off to a really good position because... It's kind of like not a direct counter, but it's kind of one of your best ways of actually like, you know, negating. Holy smokes. Okay. Okay. Briefly looked like he was going to go for like five pioneers. But yeah. Okay. Five, three pioneers acting to be transported from the 211th Coastal Defense Division. And as always, a big hearty thanks to my patrons for continued general support. And a big hearty thanks to keep commenting and liking the videos. But you know. Yes, those messages are the way as things are going off really aggressively here. Italian troops are arriving to assist the 90th Panzer Grenadier to be shown here on the front line. Pioneers there are getting hammered here with the Jeep forcing it back. But again, thanks to this, like, you know, triple pioneer opening, General Force can just start grabbing more points anyway. Seeming like in his run says you one place, he's got troops elsewhere. And also worth knowing that he got a fighting nest here up on the mission point, which I suppose is another way to just counter these, just like you lay down fighting nests and dig in on the various points, so interesting choice as well there by Gentle Fox, I'm definitely liking that, we're actually seeing a meta game development here, like, you know, it might have taken a while there, but it's actually been like, you know, shift and meta game from the Wehrmacht, like, you know, usually again it was just all cat and crats, and it's just like, you know, it clearly didn't work out, now we're suddenly seeing like more explorations into Pioneers openings, for example, so that's sort of an interesting development here, I really find fascinating. Which is not something we've really ever got to see in Co2 most of the time, if ever. So, Italian troops here now holding up against two American jeeps. American jeeps, of course, wondering where all the Germans went to. Goddamn Italians, you can't say that, Bob. That's culturally insensitive. We're invading another country, Gene. I'm going to be as culturally insensitive as I can be. So, we got uh, engineers there for Charlotte, which is definitely going to be a bit helpful there with the double jeeps. Even the cancel repair, the ability does have a bit of a cooldown, so you obviously at some point want someone to fix them. Italian and German pioneers are pushing forwards here. Triple pioneers, triple coastal surf squad here. Not a bad opening, certainly mirrors what I kind of do with the Valmont. Without Italian troops, there's kind of triple pioneers, triple grenadiers, but I go for MP40s. So, obviously, less munitions intensive, but still, you know. A bit more aggressive, but a bit more manpower, I suppose, cheap here for Gentle Fox. So, again, interesting build here, interesting build. Scouts here being held, holding up the Italian troops there. We're going for the cut point here. Gentle Fox doing his, or Charlotte doing her best to mess with Gentle Fox economy. There go Jeeps and start the final spotting here. The Jeep forcing it back. Like, really just tactic stuff here, man. And again... Definitely also highlighting, you know, some of those buffs actually did do good, which is like the fighting nest buffs. Of course, fighting nests never saw any usage before, but now again, like, you know, what they definitely like haven't seen as much usage yet as I think they can. They're definitely starting to like catch on in more and more people's gameplay. Oh, the Jeep gets past here. Gen Fox into the building here. The Jeep sneaks away. Holy smokes, what a save there by Charlotte. Two thumbs up. Nerves of absolute steel there from Charlotte. No tech dead here for Gentle Fox. Could go for an officer next to us. Engineers rushing down there at the channel reserves. The Kakano built action rifles slamming into the engineers here. Deep self repairing. Bit risky seeing how close this to the front line. Finding out north here. Vibes got hanging down the channel reserve troops here. And got the news force back here by the reservists. Jeep moving in to have ass and mess there with General Fox's economy. Rafts got the coastal reservists here. Fuel bombing seats for the pioneers. Got mines being laid down here. And the Standoff continues here, they think the Italians finally got someone to like get them forwards here. Pony has spotted, routed. We got the infantry support sending on the way for Charlotte. And there you go, Italian coastal server being beaten down here by the Ralph squad. Luffer of a company here on the way for General Fox and the 90th Panzer Grenadier Vichon. Sixth Panzer Grenadier Company Jeep there pushed back by the Pioneers. And here the other Jeep is finally withdrawn, but almost had one of General Fox's Pioneer squads wiped here. General Fox brought an MG42, very good. 
which also seems to be one of those adaptations that sort of slowly seems to be catching on, at least I'm doing myself as well. You know, again, you go for first all the pioneers, all the mainland infantry, and then you bring in the MD-42 later on. So you have to have something for the machine gun to support and work behind. As you push the machine up too early, it's kind of is a bit too exposed. So we got 482 as fun in terms of victory points. Defending the munitions point here. Charlotte's opening that's definitely had some interesting consequences, which is he's not getting too much fuel. He's yet to secure any fuel points, which does help out General Fox a bit. But there you go. Cut off then more than fuel. Machine going up here. No sound on the officer. Guessing a 2 to 1 here. Maybe some Jaegers. We'll have to see what General Fox is planning. Charlotte now with more infantry. Pioneers pushing out the Ralph squad here. Probably more the MD42 support than the Pioneers that are doing the work. On the west here, Pioneers being pushed back with the Jeep. I think Gen Fox is just trying to buy time here with the Pioneers against the Jeep, but I think with just one Pioneer left inside that fighting nest, I think it's going to be limited here what that Pioneer can do. Jeep's raising in there up north here. Heavy findings all there. Pioneers dead get wiped out here. Minor blow there to General Fox. Flak 30 on the way to support here. The 90th Panzer going to be short. Almost got the Coastal Surf Squad as well here. General Fox looking a bit exposed again here. Guineas versus Pioneers. Motor pool there for Charlotte. No surprise there. Going to be a Greyhound most likely. We had an absolutely hectic find here. As we absolutely love it. At least I do. Grabbing the fuel point here. I suppose Ch General Fox could dig in with another fighting nest there. Pioneers as Jeeps, and Jeeps are just constantly probing, constantly looking for like weak spots here to hit. Engineers, there is the Coastal Service machine in there, catching Ralph Scott, pushing it back. Flat 30, almost done it for Gentle Fox. Motor pool still taking a bit of a while to get built for Charlotte. Pioneers, they push back. I suppose it also get delayed because, again, she never really got this fuel point here. So again, she was much more focused on aggressive disruption, which of course had worked out, would have put her in a really strong position as a gentle fox. But thanks in part again to the triple pioneer opening and the coastal service, it doesn't oh, quite gain as much Very traction. So again, that could be sort of one of those ways, like again, we're, again, we're seeing why triple pioneer is getting more popular. Again, they are one of the ways to show, say again, hit back again, these double deep opening shows get out of the Americans. Flag 30 there being moved forwards. Greyhound on the way there for Charlotte. Captain there was the advancing each channel service. General Fox definitely could do with a bit more there, I think, in terms of infantry. Maybe in the officer could be nice. Deep there, though, getting hit with the Flak 30, and unsurprisingly, does not fare well against the Flak 30. Graf Squad now occupying the fighting nest, grabbing away there from the Germans. Greyhound out there for Charlotte. Of course, veterans one courtesy of this. No abilities further chosen. Another fighting nest here for General Fox. I wonder where. Wonder where. Oh, no. Oh, back at base. My reserves await orders. I think this must have been a misclick. He might have been intending to build a bunker there, or do these also apply the reinforcement bonus? Then I don't know. I don't think so. I don't think so. So I think this was a misclick by Gentle Fox. Like he probably intended to build a bunker, but in all the haste due to all the pressuring from Charlotte finger slip and we just like ended up building this without intending to so that's slightly mess up poor things here for general fox two to one on the way there but yeah that's kind of been one of my bunkers because again the coastal service gets free reinforcements over like every 40 seconds plus of course medics and just net casual recovery there clear the crew at the flat very good work here two to one out there upgrading to the two to one dash two eight Got fighting here as well. Channel Reserve's been murdered here by the Ralph Squad, caught between the ones in the fighting nest and the others, plus engineers. These are some really nasty losses here for General Fox. You might even see the pioneers getting wiped here. Really going strong now for Charlotte here. We got the two to one. Hunting down here the Jeep. Pioneer standing around here. Got an officer now has an ability there. Two to one, almost upgraded. There we go. And there we go, we do get the bunker now on the way there, base for General Fox, very much as expected. Jeep there, there's the Greyhound. Armored car pushing in here. Another Grand for Charlotte. Victory points wise, it's actually a small lead in General Fox, but casualty wise, as you might have noticed, there's a bit of a chasm there. Part because again, the Coastal Service obviously aren't that great infantry, in terms of the Coastal King caught out in the open. 
And we got here Coastal Wall as well. No officers yet, no Jaegers either. In, uh, well, definitely rough here. Flak 30 joining in. Bunker there being built. Taking a while there for Gentle Fox. More rifle there for Charlotte. More infantry. So mines up here. We'll have to see which Charlotte goes for next. Actually going for the M31 here, so that likely indicates also War Machine. Probably just a lot of light vehicles. You can see Pioneer spotted by the Eastern Victory Point. Center there following the American Engineers. South side Ralph's squad moving up here. Bunker there done for Gentle Fox finally. And can of course upgrade it to the Medic Bunker. Worth noting, Gentle Fox does have a lot of munitions floating about here. So more mines would be a good idea, including from the Coastal Serve Troops. Ralph's got pushing in here. Straight into the Flak 30. Got the center victory point. South side there, Rascal Grand Nations point here. Just Charlotte hitting hard here. And we got Jaegers on there for Gentle Fox and the 90th Panzer going to do short. All victory points are under enemy control. Bring in with the Flak 30. Sector now under enemy control. There he goes. Proud of the Ralph squad here, but the Grand's moving in. They could deal with the machine gun here. And General Fox doesn't like any forces nearby. Oh, the armor car's moving in, perhaps. Expect expecting Grand coming, hard to say here. Definitely like some immense pressure here from Charlotte onto Gen Fox. Jaeger's finally up. Guessing Pantrick here. Basil galloping about. Because that's what he likes to do. Probably wants attention and more than likely thinks it's dinner time. Nisa is the Flak 30. Up north here, Grand Strike and the Isolate Coastal Service. No mines. At least he did at one point get one of Charlotte's jeeps. So that's a small win there for Char uh, General Fox, not for Charlotte. Got the captain pushing himself towards the Pioneers by the Southern Munitions Point here. The Pioneers of Exit 2, they're doing with the counter captain up close. That actually kind of works out for the Pioneers, which is the Veterans Bone is up close DPS. But yeah, we go. Greyhound completely ruins that engagement there for Gentle Fox. And pretty much wins it there for Charlotte. In fact, there's a good chance the Pioneers are going to get white. Yes, indeed. Support elements like the Vivian de Marders, obviously. Troops busy in the center. Really immense pressure here from Charlotte on Gentle Fox. Got the Panzer Strike there up. The Raketten Panzerbüchse. Captain Grand Munitions Point. Yeah. Yeah, don't go, Cat. That's really wanting that uh, attention and cuddles. Our arsenal has been expanded, Commandant. Gonna have you finally got the bars up there for Charlotte. We got grenades on the way there. Ralph's got flanking in here. Nice flank there, Flak 30. Definitely caught out of position. Armor car going for the Greyhound. Grab the cat. Turn him up on the shoulders so he can rest there. Because that's where he likes to be. And there you go. We could see the Jeep go down here. No! Gets away. South side there. Pioneers was the captain. Second round there. Could go for some more Jaegers here. I don't think there'll be a half battery here for Gentle Fox. More likely at this point, we're going to see a Vivil Vent here or maybe a Marder. Ability unlocked. And there you go. Designate the defensive line. Ooh, and lost another coastal surf squad here. Gentle Fox on your infantry. Charlotte, meanwhile, has got plenty of it. Got Basil perched on my left shoulder at the moment. There we go. Vibble and Flak Panzer for Gentle Fox in the 90th Panzer Grenadier to be shown. Turning out here. Got the munition surplus on the way there. Up on there being hit by Sean again. Good disruptive play here. Maintaining the disruption, the aggression. Bidman almost done. Gen Fox, they definitely think, needs some more infantry soonish. Not entirely sure what Basil wants to do at the moment. Jen Zoom is what prefers. There you go. Big assault then. The fighting nest by the munitions point here. Jaegers was run some Ralph squad. I think she's three. There, actually breaching the fighting nest here, forcing General Fox to get out of there. Got the moving in and blasting the Ralph squad here. Even pushing south, it's Pani's in trouble here. 
Up north here, Flak 30 and Armor Cutting Glass put in the cutoff point. Chaffee's on the way now here for Charlotte. As the signs apparently wants to get down from my shoulder now. He's now getting in front of the screen. Armor Carter pushing for the Greyhound. The 2 to 1 dash to 8. Southside Gun going for the Arts Court here. It's a slightly notch basil away. There's it doesn't block the screen. Gentle Fox, I think, definitely needs more infantry. The officer calls for logical addition. As for Charlotte, I mean, the eventually take up could be there. Go Bibbling Corner, bad spot here. Got fresh custom serves out for Gentle Fox. I think this is more like out of desperation than uh, anything else here. So, indicating that Gentle Fox's position is highly crushed. But there, go Charlotte there makes a mistake. Underestimates Gentle Fox here, and the Chaffee turns into Ball of Fire. So that's a definite win there for Gentle Fox. Basil chewing in something he shouldn't be. Again here. In the center there. Big push here by the 90th against the Americans of the 2nd Armored Division. Grand firing way there. 2 to 1 moving up. Eastern Pomming Seas with the Coastal Reserve Squad here. General Fox was throwing some order. I mean, getting rid of the Chaffee definitely helps. There's also Grand that went down earlier, so that's another small win here. But there's still a lot of work to do here for General Fox. Shining a good advantage. We got the Luffs up officer quarters there. Thumbs up to that. That'll certainly do a bit of good air for General Fox against Charlotte. But for Charlotte, is it War Machine or is Charlotte actually now thinking about going for Sherman EC8? So there's definitely also been a return there, I think, in the Sherman EC8 part of the uh, armor build. Like, again, most players for now sometimes just like stuck to like war machine just swarming out a lot of like tanks and vehicles but there's definitely been a slow increase in players i think going for ec8 again so it may well well just be that charlotte seems to be a bit torn between those two paths like does she want to like keep going for like vehicles and tanks or is she actually thinking about brad pitt now the egg squad there for general fox thumbs up there's a lot going on here still like an absolutely hectic match here General Fox making up for the infant losses. For him. We have a surplus of command and we've got a bunker going up here for General Fox. Around the center. Guessing a other support bunker or machine gun bunker here. Well, it could be a pack bunker for all I know. Not to say here, obviously. Maybe not actually. I think that one. One, yeah, you can't go for support bunkers. Oh, we're bunkering up here up north. We've got the Rav Squad breaching the building. Two thumbs up the channel for using the breach ability. They actually get killed there, I think. General Fox just, yeah, lost the Coastal Reserve Squad again. So he's actually too slow to rack their poor appearances. Great for Charlotte, though. That's great for General Fox. No, another medic bunker here from General Fox. Interesting. I mean, I guess that does mean more front and reinforcement healing, and I suppose more casualty recovery, which is interesting as well. It's only hard to say where this match is going in some regards. Even they're ripping into advancing American troops here, but it's definitely at risk here. Now the Chaffee for Charlotte. But again, no ability chosen, and no allied war machine, for example, so... Again, I'm not entirely sure as to what Charlotte's uh, overall game plan here is. You can see him being salted. Big sweep there by Charlotte and the second armor division, B Company. Eh. Spiro. For some reason, I have to chew on the cables to my headset. I don't know why he does that. Double medic bunker. That ult's going to be meta now, I don't know. Jaeger's pushing back the Ralph squad here. Even then getting the Chaffee stamp through the side on my knee. The enemy remains stubborn. We are down to 300 points. A double medic bunker. Slack 30 Vibbins is going for another Vibbins. South side. Pun is about to get evicted at the Ralph squad. Need to retreat those pioneers then. There you go. Breach again by Charlotte. Two thumbs up. Well, that could get a what? Hey, armored car moving up. But obviously, it's not going to be much against Ralph's Squad. Jaeger's moving up here. 
Fun fact though, this gun could actually fire fragmentation rounds, so technically it would have had the option of like anti infantry uh, shots, but I guess they didn't want that. Another vehicle out here, Fort Gentle Fox, and a Marder now. As for Charlotte, not much going on, we got a fighting position up, that's slightly going to be a mortar position, yeah that's definitely mortar position, because he has position there. I'm capturing the ground here, because we're certainly losing out to the captain. Vibbins pushing eastwards. Other Vibbins in the west here, base of the Rav Squad. Mardo almost done here. We have lost control of a victory point. Black 30, Vibbins in the end, just letting loose the Rav Squad here. Up north, Greyhounds. Oh, mostly Champs are pushing in there. Mardo ready here. Mardo today, as filling M. Final model of the Mardo 3 series. Mounting a pack 40 in the Czechoslovakian Panzer 38T chassis. Ralph got a the fighting nest to be able to bring up. Mortars at bolt in place now for Charlotte now. And to tank as well, they still no sign of much while the battle group here from either Charlotte or from Gentle Fox. At least Gentle Fox has done more with the battle group choices than Charlotte has at the moment. Mortar from Gentle Fox, bring in some artillery of his own. Sees the sand, we've got 255 versus 118. Just doing what I can to keep the cat occupied, he doesn't do anything silly, so. I apologize, I'm not pausing as much, but my one hand is occupied with the mouse, and the other hand is occupied with the cat. Any with less room for the space bar to pause. Anyways, Ralph goes to the Vibrant here. Marder moving about, we got here. Designated artillery overwatch. Another mortar in placement on the way here now for Charlotte. An interesting shift to Cheatley, but that's kind of makes sense because now the match, the, the tempo of the match has sort of slowed down here. In was the Greyhound. We'll have to see how General Fox trying to deal with that. No sign of further tech from either side. South side pushing in. Charlotte still not really doing much with the battle group choices. But again, feels like it's going to be set up eventually for Sherman EC80 and the power of Brad Pitt. We have been setting out. Rav Squad about to get hit with something big and nasty. Brown there opening a good shot in the chat feet. Jaegers moving up, mortifying down death in the Very south side. Better stand over between the coastal service and the Rav Squad. We got Salute called in the flat 30 here. These things are heating up. But Gentle Fox is able to get it on there. But as well as pack on my shoulders, I don't need to quite manage the kitty cat. Mortar there from Gentle Fox in the front for the mortar and placements of Charlotte. And we got a Panzergurney coming here from Gentle Fox, guessing Nibelberg for here to respond to the mortar emplacement. Not entering there for Charlotte. That's the time to get down again. Shemp aside, so it doesn't pop up the screen, it's getting down again. Greyhound up here versus the Jaegers for the Raketten Panzerbuchse. Charlotte's not really doing much over the battle group. Or taking up. In the center we got Captain there's the Biblin Flak Panzer. One of Victory Point is under uh, enemy control. Night. Phew. Ah, stupid cat. Ran off with something he wasn't supposed to run off with. Rafts got there's the Biblin inside the building. Walls and windows, they're getting plastered. Got there we go. Nebula for Gentle Fox, very much as expected. Very much as expected. Jaegers moving out and pushed towards the center. Nebo there for one third of the way done here for Shen Fox. South side here, laying down mines, thumbs up. Could advance up there as well. Charlotte's map control there, definitely slightly struggling. And there we go, we got Bulwark there. Double medic bunker, definitely not something I'd expect to see there. In the south, the smaller column here from Charlotte, light tanks support a private squad, laying down mines here. Gonna set off the mine though, and we got an tank spawn as well here. Nebo already there, up north on the center here. 
Jiang Fox position seems to be at the center of attention here from Charlotte's guns. And we got the Virons, the Mod here, roaming about the northeast. South side here, though. Charlotte pressuring up here, breaking down the Gentle Fox's southern defenses. It's starting to look like, again, an easy hit stall here for Charlotte now. There you go, Nilva Fangway, probably going to, yep, try and silence those mortar emplacements. Yes, indeedy. If it can actually hit them, that is. So far, the accuracy has uh, not quite been successful. Then we got the people in the south end, bit of trouble with anti-tank guns. Chaffee's withdrawing both with damaged engines as they both hit the mine there. As again, Charlotte did for a grenade there. Anticipating a mine, because most players actually tend to mine, and that causes a bit of an element there again. Like, at some points, just tend to be mined. Got the ground pushing back the pioneers up north here. Fighting remains fierce and intense. Oh, funniness is about to collapse here. Ah. Other than that, cat remains, um... Quite annoying. Rouse got pushed back here. Tanked up with Charlotte, so not a Sherman EC8 plan after all. It's not on the surface. Interesting choice there for Charlotte. Green just hasn't done much for the Belgian. Rouse got in trouble with the MU42 Yeager shooting in the can here. South side here, Bibbin ripping into the cap nearby the Sun Field Point. And. Going from the officers' quarters there as well to boost the Nebelwerfer. Interesting choice there by General Fox, not something I commonly expect. A machine gun has been destroyed. And the machine gets wiped here. Mortar placements definitely paying off dividends there for Charlotte and the Americans. This finding continues to operate at a pretty slow pace. Nebelwerfer's there running across the center now. Again, trying to silence here. Charlotte's artillery base here. Now that the hedges have been cleared out, the Nibelvers are um, landing more direct hits on the mortar emplacements. Ah. How about that cat again? Clearly indicating he's hungry, but again, also indicating he's got no understanding of when he's actually supposed to eat. Or that I'm busy. Rouse going to be with the villain heavy fire there. Flak Freddy joining in. Just an absolute flak storm there against Charlotte's forces. Charlotte's tank depot is now done. But not precisely Hunter Farm with Sherman here. Still no battle group choices. Like, I really feel like Charlotte would want Allied War Machine here. But again, has just decided not to go for it. And now charging force of the Chaffees. Strange to the Martyrs, though. Not going great here for Charlotte. Chaffee misses here. At the very periphery there. Really lucky there for Gentle Fox. Jaeger's pushing forwards here. Mortify continues to rain down. Flak further getting out there. And we got another bunker further south here from General Fox to cover the southern victory point. Or, I suppose, a third medic bunker. I mean, if we're going to go for two medic bunkers, I mean, you can't rule out he might go for, like, three medic bunkers. First mortar pit down. Second one's about to go down as well here. More pioneers for Gentle Fox. Most Gentle Foxes. Yep, there you go, machine gun bunker on the way there. Ah! Solid air! Ah, silly cat. So besides trying to comment on the game, I'm currently just trying to keep the cat in check. No Panzer Company yet here. Charlotte, there we go, going for that final show. We do get here. Seek and destroy now the EC8. Still no war machine. Perhaps he just thinks it's too cheesy and doesn't want to go for it. Perhaps that's, you know, an option. Scouts here hitting field points, but now getting dealt with by Italian troops. Hearts got the bill moving in there. Yeah, one of three models based off the Panther 4 chassis of Flak Panzers. You also had the Moomer you also had the Osvind. The enemy have taken our territory. Ah. Ah. Ow, ow. Silly cat. There 
Greg O'Neill of Arangani and the Charlotte's forces. Arden Farmlesham moving up here slowly. Vivian moving in here, aggressively harassing there. Charlotte's flanks in the south. Flag 30 moving forward. Jaeger's backing it all up here. Charlotte definitely seems to have lost some courage here against General Fox now. But there goes Sherman hitting back here. Of course, Veterans 1 could find incendiary around here, which could theoretically just wipe a lot of stuff fast if uh, General Fox isn't careful or just unlucky. But now, Gem Fox on the offensive here, 90th Panzer Grenadier, Sean, 6th Panzer Grenadier Company, driving its way here through Charlotte's lines. And I'm um, thankfully back to not having to keep an eye on Basel so much. Now, one you need for Charlotte. That's the other ones to get, uh, well, taken out there by the Germans. So now it's Gem Fox in a pretty strong pinning position against Charlotte, and Charlotte's going to do some work in turning around. Marlis more for General Fox, no attempt at taking up here. Which an extent is understandable because of the Wehrmacht, you first like commits like one of these buildings here and like you know these support elements upgrade, it becomes much harder to just easily go for the Panzer Company without just getting swarmed them by stuff. It's one of those interesting like uh, situations can be set up against the Wehrmacht. There goes Sherman pushing forward, Axe is moving forward well there. Rouse called dashing in, but they're being met with like immense amounts of firepower from Gen Fox's guns. Another mod already got one of them close there, but not quite. Charlie Inchnov is not really going for the flanks, so like good push here, could like, do some damage to Gen Fox. Got the 2 to 1 dash to it finally, that was actually been quite long lived. Entering this slamming into the wheel blend. Gen Fox, I think, perhaps a bit slow there, could lose the villain, but no, it does get away. Does get away. Close call though. Close call. Mort, they also have dangerously exposed. We will end this. The enemy has only 250 points left. It's down to 234 to 248. Machine and bank banks being upgraded apparently cancelled at one point. So what will be next here for Charlotte and what will be next with Gentle Fox? Running at the ready. Feeling moving in. Send it in. We got the scouts pushing forward here, but the limited smoke support. The AC targets here for the flank 30, amongst other things. And then could Vibble sneak up here. Could get behind here. Gen oh, Charlotte's force and do some nasty damage, which is exactly what Gem Fox is doing. Two thumbs up. We have the advantage. Push in. Brown squad there in trouble. Up north here, we got the Grand here being met by the Vibble and armor piercing rounds there going off. Shredding here the Greyhound, which even with the summer side skirts can't really match that rate of fire. And there you go, Chaffee moving in here to the rescue for the Greyhound here. Bibble and now in trouble here. Gen Fox Oakstand is luck here. Almost had it there, but did it go away? Got the Chaffee there diving in after it. Snares off here, and there you go, Bibble and down. Gen Fox miscalculating here versus Charlotte, and Charlotte calls more than happy to punish Gen Fox for a Samaritan. And there you go, second Bibble and down. Got a lot the entire match, could have game be swinging back. Now in Charlotte's favor. But can General Fox have got up with this? And General Fox just goes for more Vibblevins. No turn tanking up here. Charlotte, meanwhile, still no Allied War Machine. And still. No clear plan as to what's happening next. Is it going to be a Sherman e C8? Will it be Brad Pitt here? I just, Charlotte just not really like Brad Pitt. I don't know. She could be more of a Liam Neeson type of gal for all I know. Anyways, pushing back the coastal serve here up north. Flag is going to catch you. The advancing American troops there and cut them to ribbons. People in that here for Gentle Fox and the 90th Panzer Grenadier to be shown. Flag down. That is pretty big here for Charlotte if she can actually grab it and turn it against Gentle Fox. Commandant, we have surplus munitions to spend. Leading here for Shadow remains quite uh, fiercely intense. Rouse got clipping over that. This allows General Fox then to capture the flank 30. Vibblin pushing Victory northwards. Mart is sort of in reserve positions here, ready to blunt any American armored advance here. The south side is kind of forgotten here now by uh, Charlotte and General Fox, which definitely benefits General Fox more. And up north here, Bibble in the trouble again. Anti tank guns backing up the Hun and Final Sherman. They're forcing back here, Gentle Fox. 
almost got the Coastal Surf Squad here. Which would also be the remaining one he's got. Still no further sign of taking of Gentle Fox. And there go Nila Fine. They're disrupting Charlotte's continuous assault here, though they're still two Rav Squads. Another push in the center. Sansan again is just kind of forgotten here. Kind of forgotten. Rav Squad and Chobli Shun moving up in the center here. More to push back. Ground the center victory point here. And there go double anti tanks, but the Sherman is becoming the target here for the two martyr fees. And they're doing mass amounts of damage. And there go, got the Vivalent, but also the Sherman is down. Another Vivalent here for General Fox. As for Charlotte, though, not so much. Manpower bleeding here being a much more pressuring issue right now for Charlotte than this for Gentle Fox. Again, it would appear these double medic bunkers is providing uh, General Fox with a pretty decent manpower surplus. Quite a bit of kickback, if you will. So there you go. Stabilizing once more. Charlotte, they still has plenty of infantry, but General Fox's position definitely makes it a bit harder to like, just utilize that. And we got another bunker here for General Fox. This time to cover the northern victory point alongside the flank 30. Or again, it could be a third medic bunker. Like, you know, again, I can't rule out General Fox could be planning a third medic bunker. I don't think he is, but... I never know. Again, once someone goes for two medic bunkers, you can't rule out a third medic bunker. That's sort of the problem there. But honestly, this feels like something more like Red Wings would be doing in some way. Another Hunter Fund Sherman there. No the ECH whatsoever for Charlotte. They have only 100 points remaining. Rav's got in trouble here, being absolutely mauled here by Gentle Fox and the German army. 227 to 96 here. Installing an MG42. There you go, this is a machine gun bunker after all. Another push. Sean again goes for it head on here. Straight into the, you know, jaws of the line here. In this case, a lion with a flag gun in, or two. Withstanding here, the American assault in there. Go Nibla flag again into the midst of the assault here. Forcing Charlotte, even as she's pushing forwards to like shift around forces toward them getting basically incinerated. Anti-tanks moving up here. They're going to load into the line of fire of the flank 30s here. Chaffee rushing southwards. Looks like she's going to clear up the southern, or she's going to clear up the southern bunker here and push for the point there. Not a bad idea. Up north here, push forwards as well. Machine gun bunker there versus the ground. Ground versus the Jaegers. Almost got the uh, camp start clearing out the bunker here. Anti-tank's being forced away here. Greyhound down. Oh dear. Definitely not great here for Charlotte. We got 227 to 56. Mardis rushing south for sea. Bunker there is almost down. The concrete is going away there. Black 30, Mardis heading south for sea. Got the bunker. We got 227 to 43 here. Situation for Charlotte is looking quite desperate in the face of Gentle Fox. White Desperate. And there you go. Chaffee. Double hit from the Marder. And down it goes. Victory point is under enemy control. 24. The enemy have only 25 points left. 22. This is starting to look a bit like GG here for Charlotte. Sixteen. Bunker up. Fourteen. <coughs> 12, 10, 8, another bunker by the for Gentle Fox, 6, 3, and that is it, GG game over, a brutal match here, and Charlotte really had such an amazingly strong start, but again, partly again, due to the Triple Pioneer start, Gentle Fox was actually able to sort of weather it somewhat, and you know, slowly push back against Charlotte, but Seattle was definitely at times really close. I think part of what cost Charlotte the game was just like, there seems to be a bit of hesitancy strategically as to what she wanted to do here with Gentle Fox, like the AC8 or War Machine or whatever. And I think also just, she was a bit, I think, too focused on pushing up the center rather than trying to do things around the sides of the map, which also helped Gentle Fox from a more cohesive defense, which worked more in his favor. Rather than I think Charlotte put more pressure on the flanks and tries to like launch pincer attacks against Gentle Fox. Still, really close match here. 
with a lot of intense action. So hope you enjoyed. Hope you learned something from it. If you did, subscribe, like, share, comment, tell your friends, tell your family. And as always, you can support the podcast by donating our Patreon. Patreon. Links in the description. This is Imperial Cheers, and see you all tomorrow for another episode. Bye, everyone.